In the late 20th century, China was generally seen as a follower of technology and as cheap labor. The West dominated technology production with the innovations of Silicon Valley, German engineering, and Japanese precision. However, an unseen force, quietly but persistently, started a revolution. In this video, we will explore how China has left the West behind in fundamental technologies of the future, such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and quantum computers, the strategy behind this miracle, and the new era that awaits us. This is not a technology race, it's a story of an era change. A country that once remained in the shadow of the West is now at the forefront of technology. How did it happen? The answer lies not only in technological breakthroughs, but in the will of a nation, its vision, and a persistently pursued plan. Our first stop is the nervous system of communication, 5G. Five G is not just faster internet. This is a revolution that will enable autonomous vehicles to communicate, make remote surgeries a reality, form the heart of smart cities, and connect billions of devices in seconds. And the main actor of this revolution is a Chinese company, Huawei. Huawei is not just a company, but a national symbol. It started as a small distributor in 1987. Today, it builds more than a third of the world's 5G infrastructure. So how did it get ahead of Western giants like Ericsson or Nokia? First, with massive and long-term investments, the Chinese government saw 5G as the cornerstone of national security and economic development. Billions of dollars were channeled into infrastructure, fiber optic networks, and base stations. Cities, villages, even the most remote regions were connected with 5G. In the West, however, infrastructure investments remained dependent on companies' profit margins and regulatory complexities. Second, engineering power and economies of scale. With its tens of thousands of engineers, patent leadership, and incredible production capacity, Huawei managed to offer both more technologically advanced and more cost-effective solutions. Western companies struggled to compete with their high-cost structures and narrower market focus. Third, and perhaps most strategic, access to global markets. Through projects like the Belt and Road Initiative, China spread Huawei's 5G by offering attractive financing packages to developing countries. Although Western security concerns and U.S. sanctions limited Huawei's entry into some markets, Huawei grew even stronger in its domestic market and regions like Asia and Africa. As a result, Today, China has the world's largest 5G network. Millions of base stations, hundreds of billions of subscribers. Huawei is not just an equipment provider, but a complete ecosystem builder. 5G has become the cornerstone of China's digital sovereignty. But communication lies not only in speed, but also in intelligence. Now let's witness the rise of artificial intelligence. If 5G is the nervous system, then artificial intelligence is the brain. China declared artificial intelligence not just as a technology, but as a national priority. The goal of the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan published in 2017 was clear to become the world leader in artificial intelligence by 2030. This was not a dream, but a revolution directed and fueled by the state. China's strength in artificial intelligence rests on three main pillars, state support, 
data advantage, and tech giants. The government channeled billions of dollars in funds directly to universities, research institutes, and the private sector. It produced policies to integrate artificial intelligence into every field, from defense to healthcare, transportation to finance. In the West, artificial intelligence investments were more dependent on the initiatives of private companies and venture capital, becoming more scattered and short-term profit-oriented. The second and perhaps most critical factor is data. Artificial intelligence feeds on data. With its 1.4 billion population, high smartphone usage, and advanced digital payment systems – Alipay, WeChat Pay – China possesses the world's largest and most diverse data pool. Every click, every payment, and every movement is used to train artificial intelligence algorithms. In the West, strict data privacy laws and user awareness restrict data collection and usage. This gives China an incredible speed and accuracy advantage in training artificial intelligence models. Third is the Bat Empire, Baidu, search and autonomous vehicles. Alibaba, e-commerce and cloud computing, Tencent, social media and gaming. These giants, with state support, have taken root in artificial intelligence within their own ecosystems. Baidu is among the world leaders in autonomous vehicles. Alibaba optimizes city traffic with CityBrain. Tencent integrates artificial intelligence into everything from games to healthcare services. They compete with Western giants like Google, Amazon, and Meta, but their dominance in China's domestic market and state collaborations give them a strong position globally. Chinese companies have managed to surpass Western companies, especially in facial recognition, object detection, and natural language processing. In conclusion, China is integrating artificial intelligence into every aspect of life, from smart cities to smart factories, from financial services to healthcare services. This means not only efficiency, but also social control and new service models. While the West is still strong in basic artificial intelligence research, it lags behind China in the speed of application and scaling. Now, let's step into the most mysterious and powerful technology of the future, the quantum world. Quantum computers are not just faster computers. A technology that can solve today's seemingly impossible problems by using the fundamental laws of existence, break encryptions, design new materials and elevate artificial intelligence to a revolutionary level. In this field, China has made an incredible breakthrough. China's rise in quantum began with the state's long-term vision and focused investment. For over 15 years, the Chinese government has been channeling billions of dollars into quantum science. China has become the world leader especially in satellite-based quantum communication. The Mesius satellite, launched in 2016, was the first quantum experiment satellite in history. This satellite established an absolutely secure communication channel based on the fundamental principles of quantum physics between two stations on Earth. Classical encryption methods rely on mathematical difficulty. Quantum encryption, however, relies on the laws of physics. A quantum key is encoded in the quantum states of photons. China is currently expanding its ground-based quantum networks, laying the foundation for the future quantum Internet. While the U.S. and Europe are conducting significant research in quantum communication,
China's leadership in the satellite-based field and its infrastructure investments put it far ahead of the West. China is also taking giant strides in the quantum computer field. Its photonic quantum computers, named Zhujiang, have demonstrated quantum supremacy in certain computational problems, meaning they work billions of times faster than even the most powerful supercomputers. Superconducting quantum computers, like Zhuchongji, are continuously increasing the number of qubits, the basic unit of information in a quantum computer, getting closer to solving more complex problems. Yes, Google's and IBM systems have also made significant progress. However, thanks to China's massive and coordinated investment, its pursuit of multiple technological paths simultaneously, and strong collaboration between national laboratories, it is rapidly closing the gap with the West in terms of overall progress speed and scale, even surpassing it in some areas. While the West is still stronger in quantum algorithms and software development, China's breakthroughs in hardware and infrastructure are remarkable. Quantum technology is still in its nascent stage, but China is establishing a strategic advantage in this race, both in communication and computation. This opens the door not only to technological, but also military and economic superiority. So, what is the force behind all these revolutions? Five G. Artificial Intelligence, Quantum. These are the product of a systematic, long-term strategy that mobilizes all national resources. The real force behind China's technological rise lies in the model of central planning and state capitalism. The Chinese government views technology not merely as a sector, but as the key to national development and global competitive advantage. With strategic goals like Made in China 2025, it clearly defines in which fields it will become the world leader. From semiconductors to artificial intelligence, from electric vehicles to biotechnology, the targets are clear, timelines are set. China mobilizes enormous financial resources, low interest loans, direct investments, tax incentives to achieve these goals. It first builds infrastructure, energy, transportation, telecommunications. It shapes laws to serve these goals. In the West, however, technology policies are generally more reactive, fragmented, and dependent on private sector dynamics. This model can be slower in areas requiring long-term infrastructure investment. China trains millions of engineers, scientists, and technology experts annually. Its education system, especially in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, is built on discipline, competition, and solid foundational knowledge. Families make great sacrifices for their children's success in technology fields. This creates a vast and talented workforce pool. In the West, where education focuses more on critical thinking, creativity, and individuality, Western countries struggle to cultivate human resources on China's scale and discipline. In China's technology sector, rapid progress and a sense of national pride are very strong. Despite criticism, the high-paced work culture in companies enables rapid achievement of goals. Technological success is identified with the nation's rise beyond individual careers. In the West, however, 
individual freedom, work-life balance, and corporate profitability are more prominent. This can sometimes cause long-term and risky strategic investments to be sidelined. The U.S. sanctions on Huawei and other Chinese tech companies actually pushed China toward technological independence. It launched a massive mobilization to establish its own ecosystem in areas like semiconductors, operating systems, and critical components. Political polarization in the West, regulatory uncertainties, and short-term economic pressures can lead to inconsistencies in technology strategies. China, however, has turned these uncertainties and challenges into opportunities to strengthen its domestic market, develop alternative technologies, and form new partnerships with nations outside the West. China's model is goal-oriented, long-term, and supported by national will. The West's model is more flexible, innovation-focused, based on individual entrepreneurship, but more fragmented and vulnerable to short-term economic pressures. In critical areas like 5G, artificial intelligence, and quantum, China has surpassed the West with its own model. However, this does not mean the West has lost all its strength. In areas like basic research, software, creative innovation, and academic freedom, the West is still very strong. But the balance of technological power has begun to fundamentally shift. We are now at the end of one era and the beginning of another. China has created a revolution, not only in technology, but also in global influence, in the infrastructure of 5G, in the data empire of artificial intelligence, in the mysterious world of quantum. This is not the success of a company or a technology. It is the victory of a nation's strategy persistently implemented for decades, mobilizing all its resources. China's vision is clear. To transform society, elevate the economy, increase global influence, and achieve technological power status through technology. This vision comes to life in the speed of 5G networks, the success of artificial intelligence algorithms, the security of quantum communication. In the West, however, old superiority is being questioned. New models are being sought. Competition is sharpening, but searches for cooperation and new balance are also beginning. Because technology is a force that transcends borders and shapes humanity's common future. In the new era, power lies not only in weapons or the economy. It resides in data, in algorithms, and in the strategy that controls them. China has emerged prominent in this new definition of power. But what is the ultimate goal of technology? Mere dominance? or solving humanity's common problems, improving quality of life, discovering the universe's secrets? The answer to this question lies in both China's and the West's vision. The future is being coded. China is one of the most important authors of this code.